everybody. They're eating a bone in the background. I literally just pressed, I literally just pressed record. It never fails. I have my hair up, I'm ready to wash my face, do a little yoga, do a little meditation, take a shower or take a shower and then do meditation and just relax a little bit. My amazing husband got me a little lint chocolate. These ones in particular, the red ones, the milk chocolate with the chocolate inside are our favorite because I've been a little under the weather, but I feel a little nauseous, so I'm not gonna eat that now, but I'm gonna save it for later and I'm gonna save her every bite. He actually got a nice bag full of them, but uh, anyway, my boxy charms came today. So it's the December boxy charm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I got the regular one. I don't get the enhanced one. Uh, I have a link below if you're interested. I get boxy charm charms if you sign up and you get a discount i think and i use those <coughs> charms towards buying something that they offer which i haven't done in like a year so maybe i have enough charms to buy a mascara or something like i need another mascara as soon as the camera goes on it never fails it's like when you wash your car it rains it's literally the same thing <laughs> Okay, you guys know I'm filming here. Hello, hello. Come here, let's go play ball. Okay, okay, okay. Is that big mean doggy bothering you? Hmm? <laughs> you guys, they love, love, love to play. But my other dog's so much bigger and stronger that when she plays sometimes, she's not playing rough. But, you know, she's a little petite, little four-pound dog. The other one is extremely strong and muscular and is so gentle, still so gentle. And they have fun playing. But the other one's still a puppy and wants to play all the time. And she's like going on 10, wants to play for like five minutes and then had enough. Especially because the other one, now that she gets rough, but she gets excited and she's a little strong. Say hi, Belly. I was just talking about you. You want to say hi to everybody? Or you just want to play? Want to say hi? Come here. Oh my God, she's so beautiful, I can't. She's so sweet and playful and amazing. And we never thought we were gonna have a bigger dog. She was supposed to be little and they got the breed wrong. So, oh well. Okay, thank you for all the kisses. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, non stop kisses. Can mommy do her boxy charm? Okay, sit with mommy here. Let me give you Dolly. This is her Dolly. Okay, you sit with Dolly. Bella has worm. Rosie has Dolly. And I want to open up my boxy charm. Oh. Okay, that's weird. This is how it came. I don't have a card. There's no card in here. Okay, and that's weird. Here's a palette, but the palette, the palette's not in a box. So since I saw that first, let me try the palette out. This is oh, this is from Artist Couture. I love Artist Couture. They make the best, the best highlighters ever. I don't know if I ever had a palette from them. This is called the Caliente. And look at the beautiful red Christmas packaging. Matches my nails. The Caliente. Doesn't that mean, does that mean, no, that's Frio. No, Caliente means something like hot. It has something to do with hot temperature or something. Okay, so it's a magnetic closure. It has a mirror up here and it says Artist Couture. And look at these colors. Okay, so it looks like there's some eye pigments here. And they'll say, it's not recommended for your eyes. This is so pretty, but I wonder what this is about. Okay, it says eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette, like I said. So let's do some swatches. Oh, these feel so nice. Oh, oh, that's like a gold. What? Oh, get the heck out of here. That's not gold, that's yellow. Wow, that didn't look like yellow. That's amazing. So let's do the next four. That's a beautiful palette. What? It's so weird, I can feel the different textures when I put my fingers in them. Some feel smooth, some feel powdery. Okay, so like this color is like gonna be it for me, I could see. What? I didn't think I'd like this palette as much as I do it. I didn't understand the color palette. 
color story. Okay, not the best swatches, Carrie, but look at that. What? Can you see the pigments? That's a really, really nice palette, and that's really nice for the holidays. Okay, I'll take it. Artist Couture, Caliente. I don't know why I expect anything less from Artist Couture, because their stuff is amazing. They're really good. So next, we got some from Ofra Banana Powder. Well, I haven't seen banana powder in a long time. It's like a brightening and setting powder. That's what started the whole thing. I think Kim Kardashian's makeup artist used banana powder on her eye, but like people like me who have pale and pale that are pink undertone, banana powder doesn't work because it's yellow. And as you can see, it's a yellow powder. And it's, it has a mirror at top. And let's do a swatch of rue. Oh, that's very powdery. Let's see. I'll do you here. Oh. Let's see if we rub it in. All right. Oh, that's a really, really, really nice powder. Oh, I can use some. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. Look, I have like black running down my face. That's embarrassing. And I'm going to still finish my video because I'm being me. I always tell you guys to be you. I'm being me. That's how I am right now. Okay, we have from Eloise, a Get Lit Metallic Foiled Eyeshadow. These are my favorite. What color are we? Oh, pure gold. This, this is a great box for the holidays. I'm excited, but how do you open it? This whole box has... I guess I'm not giving anything away because I'm just opening everything. Okay, pure gold from Eloise such a great box for the price how do you beat this and it's things i might not buy and this is unbelievable look at this what this is gorgeous what? look at this packaging this is all glass and this is pure gold the top is pure gold oh i'm wait i'm excited to see what the <laughs> brush is Oh, it is. It's such a cool top. There was a lot on there, so let me. I have to. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. Look at that. Look, you can use that as a topper or a loan. I wanted to see if it would dry down and be like, let me zoom you in. Do you see that? What? That's gorgeous. Can you imagine that over one of these colors? Let's let's imagine that. Let's imagine that. I want to do it. There's just a lot that comes out. So, like, even over the pink. <gasps> Look at that. What? Over the yellow. Look at that. Okay, I'm really, really excited for this. I had never heard of this brand. The packaging is stunning. I love the shape. I love the glass. Why don't I have the card? This has to be really pricey. That's stunning. Okay, two more things. The first thing, <laughs> that's so funny. We got some mascara. Man Eater from Tarte. Well, that's interesting. The box says sample not for sale. Oh, I haven't used this mascara in a long time. I don't want to open it because once you open it and it hits the air, it goes bad. I think you have like three months you know, all of us use it a little more, I'm sure, but this might go on my giveaway only because, not because it's not good, just because I don't need any more mascara, but let me show you what the brush looks like. I personally love a brush like this. It's like rubbery and then it has the top has little spikes and I like a brush like that. And then the last item to top off everything, <gasps> no way, it's MAC lipstick in Russian red. Holy crap, they gave us a MAC lipstick. Cult favorite. I mean, this is like the people who started it all with like lipsticks and collections. And this is, oh my God, this is gorgeous. This is like a brick red. Like this is more of a cherry red. That's a brick red. And they always smell like vanilla. I don't know if I have this color, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, Mac. I know I'm not doing a great job. 
sorry. But I don't have a mirror in front of me. Foxy Charm hitting out of the park. Mm hmm. What do you guys think? What was your favorite part? So, what are these now? $25. This is probably like $35, $50. This is probably like $40, let's say. $90. No, 115. I don't know how much this is. I don't know. I'm gonna say it's around $150 box on the very least, and it has absolutely everything I need for a holiday look. And there's some amazing things in here that would be gifts for other people if you decided to do that. And for less than $30, like how do you go wrong? If you're interested, my link's below. Never feel pressured to use my link even buy anything i just like to share what i get in case you want to see something or how it's used it's so one thing i hate about red lipstick is when you can see better mm. i don't have enough on but yeah oh my god that's putting me in the spirit right how christmasy is like the gold and the red Gosh, I'm so excited. I'm excited. This put me in such a good mood. Just what I needed. I think I'm gonna eat this soon. Lint. Anyone else like lint? Lindor lint. Yeah. All right. I hope you had fun. See, the thing with the red lipstick, right? It makes you look like you have yellow teeth. It's because of the blue in it. Yeah, if you didn't know, because it has a blue undertone. It makes my teeth look yellow. They're not. Bye. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I had to be in the mood to wrap. I got lots of wrapping to do because Santa has to be coming down the chimney really soon. A lot of wrapping, a lot of Santa notes to write. But Santa came for me. I got a thread up box and I opened it. And I'll give you a pre precursor. Holy crap. Oh my God, I'm stoked. No plastic in it, but it is the rescue box. It's seven items for $90, $12 an item. Is this worth $12 an item? Let's check out my box. Rosie, would you like to sit with me? Are you my good luck charm? Are you my good luck charm? Oh, I love you, my good luck charm. Okay, first in the box. I want to enter my lipstick. We got some white Ralph Lauren black label, white denim straight leg pants. Woo -woo. These do sell. Retail, they're crazy because black label is Ralph Lauren's most expensive label. So retail is probably like I don't know, three, four hundred dollars. These will sell around fifty-five to sixty-five dollars. I didn't see anything wrong with them. Oh wait, let me tell you a size if you're interested. These are Ralph Lauren 380s. Let me just show you the tag. And let's see what size we are, girls and boys. 99% cotton. And these are a waist 29. So that's a great size. Size 29. Yeah, I don't know if these were ever really worn. So these are perfect. Next, we have some more clothes. And she needs, um, she has a little broken. The tag's coming off. This is Dolce & Gabbana Vintage. It's a black little sheath dress. And it's Dolce & Gabbana sometimes has the animal print inside. Sometimes it has floral and sometimes it just doesn't. It has a zip in the back, a hidden zipper. This is an everyday black dress. She's a size 40 and it says Dolce & Gabbana Vintage. And this dress sells for quite a bit of money. I am going to, the hem is just coming up a little. It just needs a few stitches. 
which is not a big deal at all. So we've got to get the hem stitched. I do not see any rips, stains, or anything. The hem stitch, or one little stitch here. Otherwise, she's in great condition. But I'm going to put her in a separate pile to get stitched up. Why does it never fail? Ever. It never fails as soon as I get on video. Okay, well, I'm going to keep going. Next, I see a pair of beautiful, beautiful pink lacy ruffle shoes. These are Escada mules. And look how freaking cute these are. What? These are a size 39. They fit around a size 8. FYI. Possibly an eight and a half and get away with it, but definitely not a nine, unless you want your foot hanging off a little. Some people do. I don't know. Look how great condition. There's wood at the heels. These are all leather. It's got a mules. Dolce & Gabbana dress, vintage dress. Or it's Dolce & Gabbana vintage. And some white denim from Ralph Lauren, black label. Next, we got this beautiful Diane von Furstenberg dress. I want to see what she's made out of. She feels like Polly, but I don't know. Let me just, let me tie her up because she's too cute not to tie up. But I should really do it separate. I'm going to do it in one tie. This is great for over a bathing suit, just to hang around the house. Comfy dress. You can wear this over jeans. It's like a midi length dress. You know, no, it's right below the knee. It's not even midi. And let's see, she's in great condition. Now she's not under the lights, so I don't know if we'll see anything else wrong with her. DVF. And do we have a size? New Parlin, P-A-R-L-I-N, L-A-I-N dress, New Parlin dress. And this is made viscose rayon, and the lining is poly. So size 10, definitely a size 8 can wear. Size 6 can wear if you want it, like a little oversized. Amazing light blue dress. Look, look at that pretty detail in the front. I would actually tie those separately. She needs a steam, but I don't really see anything majorly wrong with her. And next... We have a beautiful bag. Look at this bag. Can I stuff it so you can get the full effect? Hold on. I would like to stuff this, please. If you get better an idea. Look at this gorgeous bag. Look at it. She is so pretty. She's got a gold chain, gold grommets. These holes are called grommets. She has a magnetic closure and that's what's wrong with the bag. She's missing the magnet on that side, but like, who cares? We can keep her open. The corners are perfect. The bag is perfect. The bottom, the feetsies are perfect. They even, two of them have plastic over them. And the bag is, da da da, it's from St. John. This bag is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. I'd love to keep her. So next, Oh, gosh, I don't know if I should do this last or second to last. Look at this gorgeous bag. It's a mini bag, so it's like the size of my hand. Put the shoe up against it. Gorgeous evening bag. She's missing a few crystals, but when she's missing the crystals, it kind of looks like stars. So I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be that way. And then you could see a few on that side missing. So... How gorgeous. Do you see the top? You see how you open it? So the inside here is supposed to have like a little gold chain attached. I don't know if you could see those. That's missing. But you guys, I nearly lost my marbles. Who do you think this is from? <gasps> Can you see? Judith Lieber. I think I cried when I opened this bag because yes, yeah, she's missing some crystals, but she is gorgeous. That could be fixed. If I wanted to send it into Judith Lieber, 
and they charge $75 to look at it and it includes shipping there and back and if you get it fixed from them the $75 comes off the price. They will not give me a price on how much they would charge to put crystals on it or add the little chain. Now is this something that I could do myself? Yes it is. But I don't know if I want to get it fixed from her or not. I would like you guys' opinion. See, I wore, I wore it to match. Would you guys get this fixed from Judith, Judith Lieber? Or would you get crystals and fix it yourself? I know you're gonna ask me the price and I don't think I'm selling this. Mini bags are in right now. Judith Lieber's always in. People collect Judith Lieber bags the crystal bags. Now this one does not have like fancy designs. It's not in like the shape of a lipstick or something else, but this is a really good one. I'm excited. This was like one of the best things I ever got in a box to me personally. And there is a story behind it. And the story behind on top of Judith Lieber just being unbelievably incredible and especially her crystal stuff. My grandmother had almost the exact same bag. Hers was a little bigger. And when I saw this, when I opened the box, I, I started crying because back then, like when they would have like a present or a gift, like they wore it and they wore it all the time. They didn't have like so many belongings. And I remember my grandmother cherishing it and I don't know what happened to it. I have a few of her bags and rings and even a pair of candlesticks. We don't know what happened to her bag. Now this is smaller than hers, but hers had the same type of opening. And so when I saw this, I'm like, grandma is speaking to me. I know it's one of those stories. So I'm going to cherish this. I'm psyched. I'm stoked and I'm over the moon. And the last item, I nearly lost my shit again. And we have, dun, dun, dun. can you see it? Can you see it? We have a Dior bag. They call this, it's not the saddle bag. I'll put it below. It's called, oh, why is it slipping my mind? It's very in. It's gorgeous. She is like burnished, which just kind of means like, it looks like it's used. It kind of looks like it had, it was on fire. So it has that burnished look. It has everything, the lock and key design, and she's in great shape. And what's wrong with her, and I just fixed her on here, as you can see, it looks like someone took a box cutter and cut the and cut this. So normally it would go a little longer like this. So I just fixed her for the time being by doing that. So I can hold her like that in the time being. This bag is even worth it. If you wanted to spend the money and get a real Dior saddle, I mean, uh, shoulder strap, those can be over $1,000, but you might be able to find them used, or you can use any one. But this is a real Dior bag. She is in amazing condition. Amazing, amazing condition. All of this is not wear. It's made that way. Inside, as you can see, says Dior on the lining. You have the Dior label, and I see absolutely nothing else wrong with her. So this is a big deal, but it's a big bag. They're still popular. The saddle bags are very in, and this is like a big deal. So all the wear on this is mostly how it's supposed to be. It has a zip pocket in the back. How cool is that? So if I had this bag fixed, this would sell for around $1,000, you guys. $1,000, if I don't have it fixed, someone can easily, like I said, get a different strap. You can have that sewn back by a cobbler. It's just would take um, some leather stitching. So they glue it and then they stitch it. It's really probably, I would say, I, if I'm gonna really push it, I would say, $50 to fix or you can wear it like this the straps a little twisted but I don't know I don't even know if I want to sell this I love it 
So maybe I'll put it up for like a thousand dollars as is. And if I sell it, I sell it. If not, I'll use it. I got a Dior bag, a Judith Lieber crystal mini clutch, a St. John gorgeous, gorgeous grommet bag with gold accents, gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful and amazing condition Escada pink ruffle heels, gorgeous, beautiful Dolce & Gabbana vintage, Dolce & Gabbana dress that just needs the hem fix and one stitch for the inner tag, and in perfect condition, Ralph Lauren black label jeans in a size 29. I personally, for me personally, this has to be my favorite box I ever got. I still want to get them because I was discussing this with someone the other day. It's like, you keep getting them because you want to hit like the jackpot. Like you want to get this like Chanel boy bag or something. And that's why you keep doing it. But I enjoy selling this stuff. I enjoy sharing it with others and I enjoy using some of it because I couldn't afford it. So like you guys know, I'll go to H&M or I'll go to Shein and I'll buy like, amazing outfits, of course, the thrift store, and then I'll dress them up with a pair of Escada heels or a Dior bag. And once in a while, I'll get something new, but otherwise I couldn't afford it all the time to get something new. So that's my box. What was your favorite thing? You let me know. I would like to know. Let me know below. And if you guys waited this long, I have a surprise. I am going to give away a little holiday present and my one year anniversary. So in here, it came from my Goodwill mixed jewelry box is a beautiful Alex and Ani brass or gold tone bracelet. And it has the pineapple on it. And I thought this is great. And it has a little crystal in it. And I thought this pineapple bracelet would show my friendship and how much I appreciate. And to go along with that, these are still for sale, but I'm also going to give with that a BU bracelet. One prize, one prize winner. And in order to win, I am trying to grow my channel, so I would appreciate it if you guys would share my channel and have five people subscribe. Make sure you're followed here on my YouTube channel. Share with five people, have them subscribe to me. Let me know their names, you can add them, and then press done, and then you'll be entered. And I am going to keep this open until Sunday night, which is, I'll write the information below. And I just wanted to tell you guys, I appreciate you following me. I appreciate your messages to me. I appreciate you supporting me. I appreciate you helping me along if I did something that maybe is not great. I appreciate it all. I Everyone says this, but I feel like I have the best viewers in the world. And uh, this has really have, has helped me so much just feel connected to the world when I don't always feel good, when it's hard, especially now to go out. I also have a Facebook page. If you guys want to talk to each other, support each other, have questions, it can be anything. Go on my Facebook page. Let's interact more. I haven't been using that very much and I'd like to. So I hope you do too. So remember the giveaway until Sunday night, Alex and Ani bracelet and a BU bracelet, which are also for sale on my Poshmark page. So go to my Poshmark page for that. If you see anything here that you want, Get a hold of me through my Instagram, send me a message, and until next time, you guys, I don't know how I'm going to get up off this floor because my hips are killing me, but until next time, everybody, remember to be you. What? Wait, what? What? Be you. Ciao, everybody. Bye. 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 Belly, you want to say bye? Belly, come here. Aw, you guys, look, say hi, Belle. She doesn't like when you pick her up. No, I'm not taking you to the vet. I just wanted to give you hugs and kisses. But she loves to give hugs and kisses. Oh, hugs, she's giving me hugs. 
This dog is so smart. You tell her hugs and she puts her head on you. You tell her kisses, she'll put her head up and like kind of give you her cheek. Aww. It's almost our one year anniversary of, of rescuing you. Can you say hi? They believe you're there? Okay, everybody. Bye.